Sam, what are you gonna be for Halloween this year? This is my inspiration. Happy <laughs> Halloween, Sequoia. <laughs> Welcome back to That's a Raven on the Sequoia News Network. I'm Justin Schoenig. And I'm Tegan Tokai. And we're excited to be your anchors for this week's news. This week's schedule is A Block, Minimum Day, B Block, A Flex, B Flex. Happy Halloween week, everyone. We hope everyone came in and had a great time at our first annual Haunted Halls event. Make sure to wear your school-appropriate costumes this Thursday for our costume contest in the quad. All your important information, like sports, tests, meetings, can all be found on the SequoiaASB.com and on our Instagram, at SequoiaASB. Our second to last football game is against San Mateo at San Mateo at 7 p.m. as usual. After beating the previously undefeated Half Moon Bay, our final Friday Night Lights is going to be against Carlmont for our senior night. On another note, congrats juniors on finishing your PSATs. You'll get those back November 13th. Justin, do you want to add anything and any reminders for the next few weeks? Happy to, Tegan. Since the fall season is wrapping up, make sure to stay up to date with winter tryout information and sportsmanship night. Any other reminders, Tegan? Yes, don't forget to buy your tickets to see Sequoia's <laughs> fall musical, Honk. It will be opening night Friday, November 8th at 7 o'clock. There are also shows the following afternoon and the following weekend. Now for my new favorite segment, Rudy's Riz of the Week. She said, do you Riz me? I tell her only Dan. Oh, my only love, my skipper to Ohio. I'm sorry. Phantom tax, I even got it tatted on me. Lil calm, fit, I'm a- Hi, this is Alejandro. Welcome back to Rudy's Riz of the Week for upcoming Halloween. I went trick-or-treating this year. I didn't get any candy. Can you be my treat? That was very charismatic. From inside the Student Activity Center, we're Justin and Tegan. Have a happy Halloween and, and stay, stay classy, classy Sequoia! Sequoia. One of the main ways to put out a fire is to use a fire extinguisher. This one right here works on type A, B, and C fires. You can buy them online or in person at a store. When putting out a fire, it is recommended to have a person with you, sometimes called a buddy. They are supposed to guide the person with the extinguisher to safety. When entering a room with a fire, you need to make sure there are no objects that can cause harm. Once you are inside the fire, your first step would be to check the watch. If it's red, you can't use it. If it's green, it's good to go. Pull the pin right here and test the extinguisher. To test it, you need to squeeze the trigger and hold the nozzle away from yourself and the fire. Once you, once you squeeze it, the chemicals will immediately spray out. If it sprays correctly, then you aim at the nozzle at the base of the fire, not the top. Stand six feet away from the fire, aim, then squeeze the trigger. Sweep with the fire from side to side to put it out as quickly as possible. Your buddy will then guide you back to safety. The person putting out the fire needs to make sure the fire doesn't come back, so they must stay facing the fire until they are out of the room. Out of the room. And then you're all done. Make sure to call the fire department if the fire is too big or if it causes damage to your home. Close all doors and windows if possible to prevent spread. Ideally, this information should never be needed, but it is always important to remember it. That is all. Thank, Thank you, you for, for watching. watching.